guys so welcome hope you guys are feeling good my name is Bukumi BK Kran so Jesus speaks about Muhammad by Muftik Mek we have another very very interesting verse of the Quran Allah says Jesus may peace be upon him warned his people and reminded them that Allah is going to send you a comforter to come Allah will send you a man who will continue my message that you should worship Allah alone you know the laws of jurisprudence might differ but the laws of belief have not differed from the time of Adam right to the end hmm. the belief in the Almighty the maker the belief in the messengers the belief in the books the belief in the angels the belief in good and bad is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the belief in the last day and the resurrection all that all the messengers came with exactly the same message ditto but when it comes to the laws of jurisprudence, what is permissible, what is prohibited, how to pray, how not to pray, what to do, what not to do in terms of jurisprudence, that differed with the differing of time. And Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came with that which encapsulated absolutely everything we need right up to the end of time. So Allah says, When Isa, remember, he told his people, Jesus told his people, O children of Israel, Inni Rasulullah ilaykum musaddiqan lima bayna yadayya min al-tawrati I am a messenger unto you and I confirm the message of the Torah that is between my hands wa mubashiran bi rasulin ya'ti min ba'di ismuhu Ahmad and I am giving you good news of a messenger who is going to come after me whose name shall be the praised one Subhanallah Allah says, فَلَمَّا جَاءَهُمْ بِالْبَيِّنَاتِ قَالُوا هَذَا سِحْرٌ مُّبِينٌ When the clear signs came to them later on, they said, this is magic. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us and grant us goodness. So, Jesus, may peace be upon him, warned his people and gave them glad tidings at the same time of a messenger to come after. He was known as a comforter and he was known as the bearer of praise. The praised one. You take a look at Muhammad is from the root of Ahmad Hamida to praise. So he is the praised one. And he came with exactly the same message as what the Christians are supposed to be following. And this is why we tell them, read the Quran without blinkers. Read the Quran and see the message in there. And take your time, read it cover to cover. When Najashi, the negus of Abyssinia, was faced with some of the companions, Ja'far ibn Abi Talib and the others, they went to him. And they told him, we are coming from Mecca. There is a man who has, you know, who is a Nabi and so on and so forth. So the Kuffar of Quraysh had also decided to send a little delegation there. And Najashi on the Negus of Abyssinia, which is now roughly where Ethiopia is, he asks, he says, what do they say? Because these people said, you know, you believe in Jesus. These people speak a very grave lie against Jesus. So he asked the question, what do you say about Jesus? So the Sahaba radiallahu anhum who were there at the time, Ja'far ibn Abi Talib and the others recited this verse, the opening verses of Surah Maryam regarding Jesus and everything I mentioned today, most of it is in those verses. So he started to cry. Mm. Who was crying? The king of Abyssinia, mm. the Negus. According to some narrations, his name was Ashama. And he was crying. These tears are mentioned in the Quran. The tears are mentioned in the Quran. And he looked at these people, he says, this is the truth regarding Jesus. It's exactly who he was. He was a slave of Allah. He was a worshipper of Allah. He was not a God, nor was he part of God, nor was he a son of God. Amazing. And he believed. It's reported when he passed away, the Prophet wasallam read Janazah ala al-Ghaib in his absence whilst in Medina Munawwara and said, there is one of our brothers who has passed away today in, the, in Abyssinia and we'd like to read Janazah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us forgiveness. Wow, beautiful and short. But wait, he was a slave for Allah, like Jesus was a slave for Allah, according to Quran. That statement is questionable. All that I say is that it seems there, there, is a, there, there is a similarity between the Quran and the Bible because when it comes to the Bible, it's another way around. Jesus spoke about Holy Spirit as a comforter based on the Bible. You get it based on the Bible. So the person you were saying that, oh, if I don't go, then the comforter, comforter will not come. That is, if he doesn't go, the Holy Spirit will not come and dwell in us. So he has to go for Holy Spirit to come. But according to Quran, 
what Quran says is that the person Jesus referred to as comforter is Prophet Muhammad. The meaning of Muhammad is praised one. So that's the reason why there's always a debate online talking about, oh, why would they say then the person Jesus referred to is Muhammad? Yes, it's see, one thing I always observe about these two books is that there are, there are a lot of differences per se, but we also have similarities between them. Yes, the similarities between these two is the fact that Jesus mentioned a comforter in Bible. He also mentioned a comforter in the Quran. But the only difference here is the fact that the comforter the Quran was referring to, Jesus referred to in the Quran, is Prophet Muhammad, Muhammad, and the comforter Jesus was referring to in the Bible is the Holy Spirit. So I believe there should not be any de debate on this, or we should not try to counter each other's religion because, based on that religion, what they believe is right, and based on Christianity, what they believe to is right. So that was a beautiful one. I love the way he just, you know, explained deeply about Jesus, how Jesus spoke about prophet muhammad during his last days on earth how jesus announced that prophet muhammad asked to come for him to go based on the quran that was a powerful one i just love you know the way he just summarized the whole story about jesus this, this is just the tip of what you need to know about jesus in the quran and that was a beautiful one thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you in the next one bye